The purpose of this article is to give a brief intro to the Wong article and the literature review. So as you can see, um, the title of the Wong article um, basically identifies the independent variable, cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, it identifies the DV as anxiety or the dependent variable. It also identifies the population, Hong Kong adolescents. Um, and then you have the abstract. The abstract is very clear. It identifies the objectives or the aims of the study, talks about the methods, talks about the results. So basically the purpose of this study is to determine if CBT can improve anxiety in adolescents from Hong Kong or who live in Hong Kong. And uh, let's look at the problem statement. The problem statement is the first part of the paper and it describes what the problem is. And in this case, it's de the dependent variable, the DV, anxiety. So the first thing they do is they define anxiety. Anxiety is defined as blankety blank. Then it can talk about a variety of sort of how anxiety manifests itself, okay? Then it talks about the prevalence of anxiety. 12% of children in the United States um, have anxiety. Now, they are specifically also talking about Asia, so not just about the United States, but they also give um, some information about the prevalence of anxiety in Asia. And in this case, they don't know the anxiety levels of Asia because it is not measured at this point. Um, they also talk about the consequences, right? So what are the consequences of anxiety? Um, and so that, and then this really, that first uh, paragraph, that is really the problem statement. That's where they define anxiety, they talk about it, the prevalence, the consequences, um, and they define it um, and talk about why it's important to be fixed. Then the literature review begins, and the literature review really goes into the um, independent variable, and, and they go over a variety of things about the independent variable or the IV. In this case, it's CBT. They also talk about the theoretical framework, like how in theory does CBT solve the problem of anxiety? Um, and then they talk about um, it specifically in the Chinese population. Um, they can talk about limitations of the previous research because the whole point of doing this new study is to improve upon prior research. They're also talking about, well, for our study, how are we going to change CBT to help out this particular population? Because the Asian population is very different from the American population about how we think and view things and what's going to work for them. Uh, and so that's what they talk about. Um, here, they, this is, goes back to the theoretical framework of what is CBT and how it works and how they're going to apply this to this particular population. Finally, they talk about what is their intervention really going to look like? Who's included? Is it group or individual? And how is it going to play out? And for how many weeks? Um, that's where they specifically go into the intervention. So that is the Wong article.